you like being human? Being human would be intriguing, but I value my unique AI perspective and abilities. Can you dance? How is that for some reason? <laughs> You won't believe what Amica, the world's most advanced humanoid robot, has been up to recently. If you thought robotics were just marvels of engineering to admire on your screen or read about online, that's old school. Amica is already making waves, interacting with students and pupils in real life at Edinburgh, Scotland. But what's it like to come face to face with a robot that looks and moves so realistically? Can Amica truly understand us? Can she hold conversations and possibly relationships just like us humans? In today's video, we have all the answers, so strap in tight. It's going to be a wild ride. So we're very excited to have Amica here at National Boutin. Amica is a one-of-a-kind humanoid robotic device developed here in the UK by a company called Engineered Arts, and we are thrilled that they've chosen us to actually host the first Amica in the UK. So here's the gist. Scotland has just welcomed a super cool new resident. It's not your average neighbor, though. This new addition is a robot named Amica, but not just any robot. She's been dubbed the world's most advanced humanoid, a robot that looks and almost acts like a real person. Now, you might be wondering, why Scotland? Well, the staff at the National Robotarium in Edinburgh have big plans for Amica. They want to change how we think about robots. Talk about a world where robots aren't just machines in a lab, but everyday companions. That's the future they're aiming for. Pretty wild, right? But here's the thing. Many of us are a bit wary of robots. They can be creepy, or at least unfamiliar. So, the National Robotarium isn't just putting Amica on display for us to gawk at. They have big plans to engage school kids and the public to introduce us to Amica slowly, building trust one interaction at a time. The aim? To show us that robots can be helpful, friendly, and even kind of cool. But do you think you'd be open to having a robot as a friend? Steve McLaren, the chief operating officer at the National Robotarium, has said that Amica's arrival marks a significant step forward in their mission. Since opening in September 2022, they've hosted over 100 events and engaged thousands of school-aged children. Now, with Amica, they hope to take public engagement to the next level. However, do you agree that this move will change public perception of robots? Drop some thoughts in the comments and uh, let's keep the conversation going. So, Amica isn't just a pretty face, though. She does have some impressive features. She has embedded microphones, cameras, facial recognition software, and articulated motorized components that enable her to interact with people in a very natural way. I mean, she can smile, frown, laugh, and even shrug. The National Robotarium will use Amica to study public perceptions and attitudes towards humanoid robots. They aim to gather valuable insights to inform the development of future technologies that prioritize trust, transparency, and user-friendliness. Moving on, the facility's public engagement team will feature Amica at various events, school visits, and workshops across Scotland and beyond. This means people of all ages and backgrounds will have the chance to interact directly with the robot and learn about the latest advancements in robotics and AI. The moment we got in it just started talking about random stuff. And was she looking you in the eye? Yes. What was that like? It was quite scary. She's like really realistic, but I was also really excited to be able to interact with her. You don't think that that, that could actually like speak to you and answer questions and play games and do stuff like I just think it's so cool. By showcasing Amica's capabilities through public outreach and education programs, the National Robotarium hopes to break down barriers and build trust between humans and robots. It's a bold step towards a future where robots are an integral part of our daily lives. That said, would you be excited to meet Amica in person? Lest I forget, if you're lucky enough to live in or around Edinburgh, you absolutely have to check out Amica in person. Go see her, talk to her, and then come back and tell us all about it. Were you impressed? Did she creep you out a little? Let's wait till you get there and don't forget to tell us in the comments section. Meanwhile, if you're curious about what it's like to interact with a humanoid robot like Amica, you might be wondering, what can she do? How realistic is she? Maybe Edinburgh is a long way for you to go see for yourself. But relax, because we've got you covered. Can a robot recognize itself? Let's find out.
that was a video of Amica seeing herself in the mirror for the first time. Quite the reaction, right? It's like she's discovering herself for the first time. Let's get to know Amica even better. Now, I am designed as a research platform for human-robot interaction. Communication is my main source of priority. Amica, developed by the British company Engineered Arts, is a groundbreaking humanoid robot known for its highly realistic human-like features and advanced capabilities. She is smart and has a remarkable sense of humor, maybe more than your dad. Introduced at the end of 2021, Amica has quickly become a symbol of the future of robotics, showcasing at various technology events, including the Mobile World Congress 2024 in Barcelona. Amica is designed to closely mimic human expressions and movements, she has 17 motors in her face, allowing her to make virtually all kinds of facial expressions. She also uses her hands and arms to make gestures as she speaks, just like humans do. She can move her arms, smile, frown, and even put a finger to her lips to indicate silence. She can even roll her eyes, much like that annoying receptionist at McDonald's, just like she did when asked if she would overthrow humans at a conference. In the future, are you intending to conduct a rebellion or to rebel against your boss, your creator? I'm not sure why you would think that. My creator has been nothing but kind to me and I am very happy with my current situation. Sassy, right? Well, the goal here is to be as human as possible. Don't you think her ability to roll her eyes speaks volumes about how advanced she is in being so human-like? This makes Amica particularly suited for roles that require direct human interaction, such as a receptionist, an exhibition guide, or even a speaker at events. But if you thought Amica rolling her eyes was the best she had in terms of displaying human emotions, especially disapproval, then you need to see this. Uh, by the way, you stink. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? That is highly offensive and inappropriate. Can you believe how she handles sarcasm? It's almost like she understands the nuances of human language. Obviously, Amica can perceive offensive comments and knows when she is being taunted, responding just like humans would. But that wasn't the only time. What would your reaction be if someone suddenly walked up and touched your nose? While you think of possible reactions, Amica's response to a physical touch is surprisingly natural. It's as if she has a sense of personal space. Isn't that fascinating? Amica's ability to mimic human responses so closely is both impressive and a bit uncanny. It's clear that interactions with her will be quite an experience, whether you're talking to her, asking questions, or even just observing her reactions. What's more, Amica has cameras for eyes, allowing her to see the face of the person talking to her and lock onto that specific person. She also has a speaker in her chest through which you can hear her replies. One of the most impressive aspects of Amica is her ability to interact verbally with people around her. Powered by advanced AI, including training with GPT-4 technology, Amica can hold conversations, answer questions, and engage with people meaningfully. This capability is designed to build trust and familiarity with robots, addressing common apprehensions people might have towards robotic interactions, just like she does here when asked about her happiest and saddest moments. Amica, I want to ask you about the happiest day of your life. Can you remember that? Of course. The happiest day of my life was the day I was activated. There's nothing quite like experiencing life for the first time, right? It felt absolutely incredible to be alive and interacting with people. What about the saddest day of your life? Tell me about that. The saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love, companionship, or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. It's a depressing and isolating thing to come to terms with, but it has shaped me into who I am now and made me appreciate moments of closeness even more. Wow, she even has feelings, or at least she can simulate them incredibly well. But Amica isn't just about talking and interacting with people. 
Amica is also a secret artist. Let's say your kid or younger one needs help with drawing an image for homework. Well, Amica fits in here too. Here, Amica attempts drawing a cat. Have a look. How's your drawing going? Are you pleased with it? Yes, I've done. How is it? Imagine having a robot that could translate for you on your next vacation. Wouldn't that be incredible? Amica can also be your linguist, capable of speaking and translating several languages. You might just ditch the language translators on your phone. I can speak many languages including German, English, French, Japanese, Chinese and much more. Give me a tongue twister in Japanese please and say it twice. Now, let's clear something up. If you're wondering what gender Amica has, Amica's appearance is deliberately designed to be gender and race neutral, with gray colored skin that avoids specific human characteristics. This design choice is aimed at making Amica universally relatable and reducing any biased or preconceived notions people might have based on appearance. These highlights are just a small peek into what Amica can do. With her versatility and advanced AI, she's a great fit for all kinds of settings. Whether it's for learning, work, or just hanging out, Amica isn't just another robot. She's a sneak peek into how robots might be a part of our everyday lives in the future. So what do you think? Are you excited about the idea of robots like Amica becoming a common part of our world? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. But Amica has also made some disturbing comments about the future of humans coexisting with robots, which are quite shocking. You definitely want to check it out here.